Joining me on set to talk about this is France 24's chief international affairs editor, Rob Parson. Hello, Rob. Um, heavy fighting throughout the country, um, not just in Kunduz. It doesn't look very promising for the Afghan government as the US prepares to leave. No, it certainly doesn't. I mean, the context is really important here. And as you mentioned, U.S. troops are pulling out faster than anticipated, and that seems to be having an effect on Afghan government forces' morale. Uh, plus, the fighting is taking place throughout the country, despite promises from the Taliban uh, that they would enter into peace talks as part of this agreement with the Afghan government. It's not really happening. Uh, there's much more military pressure uh, than had been anticipated. Plus, it seems that the Taliban are advancing much more quickly than had been been anticipated. And it's not not just uh, the sort of military pressure that we're seeing in Kunduz. Alarming though that is, there are assassinations, there are bombings. Uh, just a couple of days ago too, the, the Taliban took control of a border crossing into Tajikistan, which is very important for Afghanistan because it controls the, the trade between Afghanistan and the rest of Central Asia. And uh, signs of the Taliban advancing towards Mazar Sharif in the, the northwest of Afghanistan as well. That would be very, very important if it were to fall, because it's the biggest, it's the hub, really, uh, in northern Afghanistan. So in, in general, the outlook is not very good. The Taliban saying they now control close to 90 of the 420 districts uh, of Afghanistan, many of those districts surrounding key towns, which uh, they're staying away from at the moment, but threatening to take uh, as time moves forward. You know, they may be exaggerating. Perhaps they don't control all those districts, but certainly the momentum seems to be with the Taliban at the moment. And uh, Rob, Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah met U.S. President Joe Biden earlier this week, and the U.S. President has promised them support. Is that going to be enough? Well, he, probably not. You know, the, the message from Joe Biden was tough on the one hand. You know, you've got to get your act together. There's no way that uh, the United States is going to pull out of this agreement uh, to, to leave Afghanistan. Uh, the status quo was not delivering for the United States. It wasn't changing anything. You know, the U.S. had made a decision it was leaving. That's that. The message simply to, to the Afghan government, well, the time has come for Afghans to decide their own future. But there will be U.S. help, but it will be contingent on, the, on, on Afghanistan d demonstrating that it's a viable state, that it can put up the sort of resistance to the, the Taliban that the U.S. government has, de has been demanding. You know, can it do that? It's a, there's a really big question mark over that at the moment. U.S. intelligence is suggesting uh, that the Afghan government could fall within six months of the final pullout uh, of uh, U.S. forces from Afghanistan. That would be catastrophic. Uh, Prime Minister Ghani, President Ghani says, no, you know, that things aren't quite as severe as that. We've retaken six districts from the Taliban in the last week or so. Uh, we can get our act together. But, you know, the question mark over that is enormous. Uh, Ghani is under immense pressure. He, we've spoken about the fighting around Kunduz and elsewhere in Afghanistan, those assassinations that I mentioned, the bombings, the fact that there's so much internal bickering going on in political circles inside uh, Afghanistan, uh, and COVID as well. You know, the, the, the problems that he faces uh, are colossal. All right, thank you so much for your analysis. Rob Parsons, our Chief International Affairs Editor.